Yep, but, um, I know one of those uh, singers. In fact, she has just uh, gracefully sauntered past me. She's one of the best vocalists in the country. So you can ruminate on that for just a moment while we get back into the kitchen. Uh, we're going to whip up something truly delightful. Frozen yogurt bites. Perfect combination of creamy, fruity and chocolatey goodness. Yep, we're ticking every box. Quick to prepare, which is probably the biggest box to tick and a refreshing treat for any occasion. They're a hit with the kids and, of course, with us grown-ups as well. And only a handful of ingredients which we like as well. Really easy to make a healthier dessert option for a fun snack and something where the kids can get involved. So get involved. Yeah, big kids now, come I'm in. I'm more <laughs> immature than you. I think we know this, my friend. We know it. Uh, but it's uh, pretty simple to make, I yes. said, now on live TV. So let's prove. So we have to prove <laughs> it now, notion. right? Um, <laughs> look, it really is that simple and you don't even need many ingredients. A lot of this you probably have at home and uh, especially our hero of the day. So we're talking about our beautiful fruits of the forest that we're going to be using for this one. And I'm going to be using about a cup and a half. Nice. Right? Now that's pretty much as odd as this gets, okay? <laughs> so don't mess up the measurement. This is the up. only thing yeah. you've got to do, dude. <laughs> um, have fun with this, of course, and uh, take your time. But you, you really can't take your time because it is that quick. So a half, well, cup and a half, well, exactly. I suppose it just depends what volume you want to make. Make yeah. as many as you can because they will be enjoy enjoyed. They kind of thing that you have one and then you're like, mm, maybe just another, mm, maybe three or four more. One more. Which is okay because they Moorish. are um, nice and nutritious as well, which is great. Exactly that. Vanilla essence, always a treat when it comes to our treats. Uh, maple syrup or honey, that's the option you have here. So whichever one you do have, go with that one. Uh, but if you really want to go out and, and do something special, obviously either or of them is going to be great yeah. for this recipe. It's just adding a little bit of sweetness to it. Again, you don't have to do too much of this because with our heating ingredient, it does come with it's some got good a sweetness. Natural sweetness. Natural, exactly yeah. that. So you don't have to go too crazy on that. But if you want like just extra profiles of sweet, it's a dessert, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, don't hold back. Don't hold back and have fun with it, like we said. Uh, this is the strawberry flavor, so playing homage to our <laughs> strawberries, of course. And then literally just mixing this up, G-Man. It's that simple because this is going to pretty much make up the base of this ingredient. Wow, there we go. Yeah. Um, and then we just put it in our little um, cupcake holders, our little ramekins, uh -huh. and freeze. And then we are on our Pretty way. Pretty much. So let's just show uh, to Mzanzi how easy that part is because I'm taking my mix over here, pop them into our baking tray here. We've got, we have lined it with like a uh, paper, but you can also use those silicone ones, which are yes. really cool. I know when it, things freeze, they really get uh, tricky to it, come It holds off. on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it holds on for dear life. So definitely try and use something uh, silicone based or get these paper. Uh, sort of uh, cup holders and, in. And I think you get the idea. If you yeah. wanted to push the boat out and have a little bit of fun and create shapes and really yes. go there from a kid's party perspective. Yes. I mean, I've started using my, my kid's Play-Doh stuff when I make their toast in the morning, just to like, just a little <laughs> bit of variety. That's just clever, something actually. Nice. Different. Makes like a big that. difference. But there's something really cool about cooking with your kids, getting them invested in the process. Mm. You imagine it's one thing getting them to eat it, but imagine if they were the hosts, when they had their friends over, that they did this with their oh, mates. Oh, yeah, that's they, cool. This is safe enough and simple enough for them to take control. You just create <laughs> a safe place in the kitchen, maybe I put like out that. some top oil in it and just let it happen. Uh, there it is. And, then voila, it's freeze, yeah. and then enrobe in chocolate, I guess. Yeah. And freeze after the freezing process, you're hopefully going to have something looking like this. Otherwise, your freezer doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you want to be as creative as you can in terms of how you dip this. We've used some uh, just barely melted chocolate in a bowl. You can also put it into like a, 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 a container and drizzle uh, it over. And create um, some shapes and it, things like that. Dunk it. Go half you go and wild. half. I'm going to go half try a version here? Yeah. How are you going to do it? Just I'm hands. just going to literally just go dip half in. You could probably use some tongs or something like that. Could. Oh, that's a nice thing. And then just roll it around. But I'm going to leave half. What about just if we do like a little whoa. ice cream stick? Like Let me try this. Whoa, maybe. whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Like I said, put a tarpaulin down or something, and that's not even if the yeah. kids are doing it. There's another option, G Man. There we go. If Look you have one of these and you don't break the I ice. I was so worried I was going to split the thing in, in half. Just watch the crack. I just don't just I know watch the crack. The crack. Is there. I don't want to drop it. Come on, maybe just if we... I've got an idea. This is what we do. <laughs> do this is what we do, of yeah. Scooping. Be careful with it. Obviously, I think the freezing part of the uh, base here is almost going to allow the... Oh, look at that. The chocolate to it's set. It's going to hold, man. That's perfect. But look at this. I'm going to pop that straight down. And as on the you plate. gently pull the... Use the other little stick nice. there. Yeah, yeah, then it's going to help you just fill that hole beautifully. It's like an You can create designs. You can create shapes. You can go the whole hog. You can do half and half. Have a little bit of fun. And the nice thing is, because it's nice and cold, wow. um, that chocolate starts to harden almost immediately. But if you are going to keep them out, 
it's going to melt. So make sure that you, uh, if you need to, store them in the freezer for a little bit longer. But how fun, how easy. How cool is that? And absolutely delicious and healthy. And you can get the full ingredients list at expressoshow.com. Go and try these for yourself, especially if you're in Uppington. It's 40 <laughs> degree heat today. Just Perfect. put them on top of your body. Perfect absolutely for uppies. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you now. <laughs>